Here we go. <clears throat> Move everything over. New setup. I'm just over here. Protect the doily there. Yes, we're in a new setting once again. Always changing. Always changing. Well, it's a big, it's a big house. Therefore, so instead of being right out there, now inside here, I finally got a uh, this new thing. I got this from the store yesterday. There's this thing, you know. Um, you all know, you all may or may not know Trader Joe's, but Trader Joe's is a whole thing. But it seems like his brother has a like an outlet kind of thing. I don't know. Another another thing. I forgot what it's called. Alliance. Uh, it's some. It's called something. A L. I, I don't know. I don't know. Forget it. Doesn't. I'm not advertising. Um, but in that store, they have. Uh, they have. It's like traded. It's, not, it's like. It's almost like a clearance store for Trader Joe's stuff. You even have to pay for like the the the, the shop the, the cart the shopping cart. Like you put a quarter into the thing and you pull it. Some weird thing that they do. I didn't have a quarter, but this brother that gave me the cart that he was using, you know, you know how, you know how to downtrodden are, you know what we do, we look out for each other, that's the way it's supposed to be, you know, I'm trying this new thing, wait, did I get it from them? Now I'm trying to figure out whether I got it from them or not, yes I did, yes I did, it's, this is called Green Goddess, Bolt House Farms, Green Goddess thing, what, what they have in here, uh, this is, uh, what the heck, it's got a bunch of stuff in here, I think. It's supposed to be no artificial preservatives, no artificial colors or flavors. That doesn't mean anything. Oh, ingredients. Pineapple juice from concentrate. Oh, you know what that means. Um, water, pineapple juice, concentrate. Apple juice from concentrate. See, conscious means they have water, but they can also put sugar in there without you. Uh, it doesn't matter. Water, apple juice, concentrate, mango puree. Hey, that's good. Concentrate from the water, mango puree, blah, 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 banana puree. Oh, cucumber. Oh, I'm going to make a... I'm gonna make a um, I'm gonna make a smoothie, maybe later, maybe even tomorrow morning. I got, I got all this cucumber that's sort of going bad, so I'm gonna throw the cucumber in there. Um, let me see, whatever. Apple juice, but, but, but some, some other stuff. Oh, spirulina, yay! That's why I got it, I think. Green tea, spinach, yay! Broccoli, barley grass, wheat grass, garlic, Jerusalem artichoke, and Nova Scotia something. Dulce? I don't know. D U L S E? Contains wheat grass, barley grass. Wow, this really is a greeny thingy. Wow, glad I got it. Oh, they got all the stuff on here. They say, um, to, um, oh, wait, 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 what is this? One percent, one, what's that? One quarter percent apples, two, three, three, oh, wait. three quarter apples, two thirds pineapple, two and a one third mango, three, three quarter banana, two thirds kiwi. Is in these things. Oh, here, spirulina green tea, broccoli, spinach, barley. Wow, this is gonna be interesting. Let me see. Let me see. I mean, even I'll even I don't put that part. Feels feel good. We generously blend over 15 ingredients to deliver an unmatched combination of flavor and nutrition. Oh, what's it? What, what's, it what's in the bottle? Wow. Hey, let's try it. Hmm. Nice. I gotta remember, I got a couple of these things. This is good. This is good. Let me eat healthy. I finally. <laughs> okay, let's go back. As you know, as you may know, I started. I started these uh, YouTube postings. Really, was to chronicle stuff in my life, whatever have you. Then it shifted over to ADOS. But now, since I'm here, I'm sort of doing ADOS in one one part. And then, uh, you know, then, then when I'm coming up here, I, I'll leave ADOS alone and do back to my life thing. It's, it's, it's a whole project I'm working on. Don't worry about it. But uh, I always start with drinking something and tell you what I'm drinking and stuff like that. Or eating something. I just, see, my wife made this for me. Sloan Chef, can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. Sloan Chef, my Sloan Chef apron means I was cooking it in the middle. Okay, every now and then, okay, I'm really more of a pescatarian than anything, you know, but every now and then, what I do is I just put the dog in there. Put the away. I'm trying to get in the can. This little doggy thingy here. Put this over here too. You got over the green stuff. Anyway, and every, and, and every once in a while, I'll, I'll, I'll once a week, once every three, two weeks, whatever. I'll eat meat, you know. And um, in Africa, I do, I do 
chicken, whatever. But I don't do a whole lot of red meat, whatever. But this morning I made steak and eggs. Yes, I did. But this is interesting. Here, let me tell you what I did. Let me tell you, let me tell you what I did, right? I have cherries in there, right? So I cut the cherries, right? Put them in, in put, put, well, first I put the steak in and started a little bit, right? Then I cut the cherries on. I just kept on pulling out the pits, had a bunch of cherries, and I put the cherries on the side, right? Then that had this uh, red onion that that's like looks like garlic, like it's like the garlic. Anyway, I cut that up and put that in. Eventually, I put my seasoning, of course. I let that go. Steak was till the steak was done because I don't like the the, the ta -ta or whatever steak. You know, get a little done, maybe a little bit tough. And um, uh, and then I went <laughs> and then I went took that out and left the sort of sauce and put more butter in. And I, pick, I, use, I use oil and a little bit. I always put butter in my oil. It doesn't matter. Then I put more. Um, then I put um, butter in, right? And I put egg in, right? Because it was like a layer, of, almost like water. I can't say it's liquid layer, right? And I put two eggs in. Right, and I let them sort of stay there, and I just and I let it just it was going for a while. So like, uh, then I covered it, right? So basically, it's almost like a it's not really poached, but it's mm, right. Let that go for a while, and in the meanwhile, just make sure they wouldn't stick to the pan, right? Then I put a piece, just a one piece of toast of uh, um, the end of the bread, end of the bread, this this grain, just like twelve grain, whatever you know, whatever. Because I don't like the regular bread. I, I do the 12 grain, 15 grain, 21 grain, whatever the deal is. I put the, the end piece, put that in the toaster for a second. Well, a second for a little while, like three minutes, whatever. I toast a little bit. Brought that out and took the egg and put it on top of that. Then I had my, then I had my, um, I, I was going to put scale in, but I didn't. But anyway, then I had my onion and my steak and my onion and, um, and the cherry there. And then the egg was on top of there. And that's what I ate this morning, right? And I got the dog here on a diet because I think the boy's a little, a little fatty, you know what I mean? He sort of, that was a sheep, but she sort of like a little bit, you know, I'd say. Well, she's somewhat upset with me. It don't matter. So I, I, I cut a little, about three little pieces of chunks of steak that I put into that thing. I didn't give it to her, put it with mixed with dog food, put some cherries in there. I, I always mix a little bit of bread with, with her food, but I don't give it to her at all. I believe that I put that in the refrigerator. That's for tomorrow morning. See, because what we do in the morning, I got, here's my routine in the morning. I wake up somewhere between four and four and five thirty. Somewhere. Lately, now I've been waking about five thirty. Well, I don't even need a locker because the door comes and like wakes me up at five thirty. Well, you know, comes in sniffing around. Of course, he wants to go out and take a little wee, right? So I usually get up, let her out, right? And then, uh, then I go back. Either I go back to bed or I, I, I turn on my little phony, my phone. My uh, my phone check stuff whatever it is, and um, uh, and, uh, I usually just just check it stuff like that because uh, and then either I I don't really fall back to sleep tell you truth I sort of meditate a little while um, um, go go to, go to go to go to the loo you know I take my blood pressure pill and then then the door comes back because as soon as the sun starts to come up it was around here it's about six fifteen about this time but about six thirty seven o'clock. Then, then I take her out for a very long walk, you know, like it took about an hour, hour and a half, you know. Uh, but what I do is when I'm actually checking for on 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 on, on my um, on my phone, I'm checking to see uh, something that I want to listen to for like an hour or something like that. I found this hour cut. Well, it's not a cut. I guess it's a loop of um, uh, uh, Summer Madness by Cool and the Gang. It used to be my one of my th my, my theme bed for when I did Variations in Black with my college radio program. Anyway, so I put that on, so I walked out with that. But then I quickly switched over the uh, the, the Colbert Report, um, and he's doing this thing, a whistleblower, and they talk about 9-11 and how all those guys, all those, uh, the, the terrorists, you know, all those cats from Saudi Arabia really got into the country. They all went through this. This whole with this one one embassy one, using one embassy officer stamp their their passport whatever so you know the whole thing CIA assets and all the rest of that stuff anyway so I listened to that for about I guess that was about a little bit over 20 minutes right and then um, and then you know then I take the dog the dog is very well trained you know what I do with the dog and we, we, if the runner's coming by or something like that I always tell the dog I said said Nola she listens so I say sit so she sits. Rumor comes by, and we go. Say, let's go, and we go. It's a very well trained dog, and so, um, but then, then but anyway, so so we go. She, she does a little business, whatever it is. I get the little dog, get the little bag, wow, I pick it up, you know, that, that, that. Um, and then I found uh, 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 I was listening to uh, uh, Black Authority, 
I said, Black, whatever, Black Authority, oh, he's got a devastating one. Maybe I'll try to put that link there. He's got a devastating one. I'm talking about, he's just pulling everybody out. Anyway, so uh, so I, I listened to the rest of him. So that's that takes about another 45 minutes. Anyway, so then we take the lunch, and we finally get home. Um, and then, uh, so I'm sweaty by then because uh, we walk a little, a little brisk pace. I don't run or anything like that. And then I, I take a shower, you know. And um, then I'm, I do, do some writing, you know what I mean? I usually do some writing. And then I'm trying to now take a little nap. No, I haven't done this. Before. But then I take a little shower. Then I do, then I do the breakfast thing. But don't. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, before we go out, I fed the dog. The, the stuff that I did the night before, I fed the dog right before we go out, so she can do her business as she goes out. Whatever. Anyway, of course she gobs it down. You know, such a piggy. You know, dogs. Any animal, they just can just feed whatever they do. Anyway, um, then I come back and uh, do as I said, do breakfast, and then I'll, I'll try to do some stuff that I uh, that I should be doing. Uh, uh, right now, I answered some stuff that I had been writing. Um, so I still got responsibilities in Africa, even though I'm here in the states. And I got to do this other stuff. Um, uh, the thing, the thing, the thing we created, name my associate. Out of Dembaza created um, a scholar. We, we a scholar, he created this thing we call a sasa, and it's a it's a well. I have to link something with it to explain that because I don't want to take long with this. Anyway, so so I, I wrote. Cause he had a question, and I wrote. I just wrote the thing. Now, here's the interesting. When I write for them, because like they they do their own thing. If they ask me for a thing. There's something he he asked that I actually write this particular section, so I have to write it the way I write it. But usually with that stuff, I look over that stuff, and I don't correct their English faux pas, their English grammar, something like that. I correct it to a little bit, so you know, if it's really way whacked out, correct it, but I leave their so-called mistakes in them. I might do some punctuation, stuff like that. But I, but whoever is going to, be they uh, funders or be they whoever they're going to, authorities, whatever have you, I want them to know that English is not their first language, so they don't have to write in perfect English. So I, link, I let them have their style, you know what I mean? Um, and uh, so that's the way I that's the way I roll. You know what I mean? Because I'm not I'm here. I'm I advise. I'm actually an advisor to the to what I do in Dumbaza, as well as there's a radio station they just created. So I'm an advisor to that radio station, uh, which is another reason why I got to go back. With anyway, they, they, this radio station just starting up. The Casa Casa. Uh, uh, um, a radio station they just started, so I'm, an I'm a senior advisor to that station, and I work with my associate for the advisor for the village, for what we do in the village, stuff like that, and uh, and that's it. And I'm here right now doing stuff. You know, in fact, uh, Eugene uh, B. Redman just called me up because I think I'm being somebody. Uh, he had a picture or something like that, and they wanted to describe me in the, in the thing. I think I told him something like I'm a I'm a global traveler. Um, uh, Global something traveler using audio drama as a tool for organizing. I don't know, some, something I told him, you know what I mean? But he just called me up and said, I gotta have it right now. So I, I just had to come up the top of my head. What can I tell you? You know what I mean? I'm like, well, you know, I guess I had time to write it down that I could look at it and write the you know, process to do it like that. And so that's it. So, so now I wanna get to a thing where I do take a nap. You know, I have to take a nap every day at two o'clock. What time is it now, anyway? Uh, uh, oh. It's, it's, it's 10 to 1. Ooh, I've been working all morning, actually, doing some stuff. Um, and, oh, I, I had to watch a little bit of Game of Thrones. You know what I mean? Uh, so at 2 o'clock, I'll take my afternoon nap. Then I wake up from there, and I, then I think I'll start my, my afternoon exercise thing, including some Tai Chi. And so that'll be my, my routine for the day. And then whatever happens, you know, the rest of the rest of the day, some people might come pick me up and go someplace. I don't know. I don't know. Yesterday, I went and saw the uh, Miles Davis uh, movie that uh, Stanley Nelson did. Right? I like to find whatever's kind of interesting. I don't really want to do a review on that. Uh, only thing I didn't like is that they had Al Sharpton in there for, I, I, I don't know why, for no reason at all to me. I don't, you know, uh, but um, but Carlos Santana was in there. You know what I mean? See, it turns out he's like the biggest Miles Davis fan in the world. He, he um, uh, the, the director, had, had the director was there. We had a question and answer, which I don't like question and answer because I had this question about lineage and I just I couldn't get it right. Anyway, uh, but he said that when they first started the project, um, somehow Carlos Santana was around, and he and, and, and he handed him one of those I. 
pod things and he had like over 2,000 Miles Davis cuts on there including stuff that ain't been released ain't nobody ever heard of ever in the world kind of, kind of he must have got it from Prince because you know anyway the point is he, he had that uh, uh, and so he's so that's why he's in the film because he said well and I think they did he said they did play together one time at a uh, farm aid or something like that um, but anyway, just some really insightful things, a lot of St. Louis things, interesting. They spent a lot of times on the pre-Bitches Brew thing, because the, the, the film is called Birth for the Cool, which I think is sort of a misnomer for the title. Maybe not, because they spent so much time on that period, you know, when you know when he was at, um, uh, first he was with Bird, and you know, not with Bird, but you know, playing with Bird, then he's playing with, then he had his own band playing with, um, you know, Coltrane and that, that great band, that Birth of the Cool thing, and then, then he went to the whole thing with, um, um, or, uh, the younger cast, you know, with, with, with Ron Carter and, and Herbie Hancock and them, and um, you know, people that was that's a large chunk there. He talked about the women a little bit. I didn't get an interview with, with Cicely Tyson because she's writing her own memoirs, and I don't know why. But they didn't get any with Betty Davis. Um, but uh, but he's had such an expansive thing. What I did understand about it, it's interesting because right now, a lot of, there's something happened between 1924. In 1934, a lot of people born between those days, 1924 and 1934, they're extraordinary people. I mean, I mean right from uh, uh, Malcolm and, and Martin to, uh, you know, Tony Morrison just passed, you know, just all these people were born in that time period. It's like amazing, you know, it's truly amazing. Um, so anyway, um, let me end it here. Uh, just say that this is some really good stuff. Uh, anyway, so I got my routine down, so I'll, I'll try to be, continue to be productive. Uh, thank you for listening to this long-winded thing. I'm not mentioning a lot of stuff. That I'll mention some other stuff, some other things. What I do is who I look to on the internet. There's a few people that's really amazing. They do I mentioned Cobert, uh, 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 James Cobert, out of um, uh, northern Japan. Maybe I'll put a link to what he, he put in. I'll put some links in. We'll see what happens. Okay? Thanks. Thanks for me. T, from the Patterson's taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect from and location in St. Louis, Missouri.